14 years ago this week, on February 3rd, 2000, came the announcement of a new football league owned jointly by NBC and WWE called the XFL, which was promoted as real football without those pansy penalties for being too harsh. Uh, Now, I know it's easy to make fun of the XFL, and God knows there were plenty of reasons to make fun of them. You know, those stupid skits with the cheerleaders, the fake feud they tried to manufacture between uh, Jesse Ventura and Rusty Tillman, who was one of the coaches. Uh, Yes, they tried to work an angle between the two of them, but (laughs) to his credit, Rusty wanted nothing to do with that. Um, And you wonder why Vince McMahon is never taken seriously outside the wrestling bubble. I, I can't imagine why. So... You know, the fact that it lasted all of one season before they pulled the plug on it and Vince ended up losing something like $30 million on the league. They went from doing gangbuster ratings for game number one, they did like 14 million viewers, down to about a million by the end. When your audience practically vanishes into thin air, that's not good. But to be fair, you know, the media... The media never gave it a chance. You know, they mocked it at every single turn. They treated it like a joke. Vince did want to continue with it even after NBC threw in the towel. They still had uh, UPN as a partner to air games, uh, and and they had TNN, which is now Spike TV. They did still have those TV outlets to air the games, but UPN wanted them to slash SmackDown from two hours to 90 minutes in exchange for airing the XFL games. And Vince basically said the hell with that, so... That ended the XFL, and uh, and Vince McMahon, you know, was a good sport about it. I remember him popping up in an SNL skit not long after where he was trying to sell helmets and old XFL merchandise and kind of making fun of, of himself. But the XFL, you know, in a lot of ways was, was very innovative. You know, they wanted to make the game more fun for the fans. Uh, the NFL ended up stealing that overhead camera view that we have now on the field, Skycam, I think they called it. Uh, They took that from the XFL. They allowed players to put whatever name or phrase they wanted to on the back of their jersey. Uh, That's where He Hate Me came from. Uh, They had the pregame scramble instead of the coin flip. Uh, Unfortunately, on the very first play of the very first XFL game, during the scramble, we had the first XFL injury. So so that didn't work out too well. Uh, They did away with the point after on touchdowns because they figured it was a guaranteed point. And you know what? Fast forward to today, and lo and behold, the NFL is considering doing away with the extra point. Okay, this is what uh, the the commissioner of the NFL, Roger Goodell, okay, this is what he said. He said the extra point is almost automatic. There's one proposal in particular that I have heard about where it's automatic that you get seven points when you score a touchdown, but you could potentially go for an eighth point either by running or passing the ball. So if you fail, you go back to six. That's what the NFL commissioner said recently in a, in, a, in a statement, in an interview. So you can't discount the fact that the XFL was ahead of its time in some ways. Just didn't work in execution. You know, the media bias, I'm sure, didn't help. But Vince did it to himself. He really did. With all the silly shit that I mentioned earlier, people watch football for football. They don't watch football for pro wrestling. I know Jim Ross is a big football guy, big Oklahoma Sooners fan. He tried. He was hoping maybe to get the gig as their radio announcer a few years ago. He didn't get it. But people did not want to see good old JR sitting out there with his cowboy hat on doing commentary with Jerry the King Lawler. That's just not what they wanted. So there were a lot of different reasons why the XFL failed. Uh, Hey, give Vince credit. You know, he tried. He, He had a vision. He tried. And it failed.